Okay, yeah, we're back with another one. Tesla in the U.S. Navy. Let's get it. Sawyer's back with all the information. He's always giving us the plug. Let's go ahead and see what he's talking about the news. The U.S. Army has installed SpaceX Starlink to the USS Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier, enabling high-speed internet anywhere they travel for a fraction of the cost. And then the Navy said that it has dramatically transformed maritime experience for sailors. The new system offers a reliable connection, boosting morale, and enhancing work productivity. Well, this is something different. When I was in the Navy, we was actually on the ship. We didn't have nothing like that. Troops out here winning nowadays. So if you really look at it, SpaceX has been able to provide internet connectivity for soldiers at sea. And that's pretty interesting for sailors deployed out in sea for months at time, keeping up with the rest of the world by staying connected with friends and family can prove to be challenging. Completing vital job tasks like operating combat, navigational or communication systems with poor connectivity is hindered as well. Much of the modern life of both personal and professional requires a constant and reliable internet connection, especially when performing secure functions abroad a naval warship. Now, thanks to the Naval Information Warfare System Command's involvement in bringing increased connectivity to ships in its shore sites, it has became a reality known as the Sailor Edge Afloat in the Shore, or SEA-2. This new functionality utilizes low orbital satellites to bring high speed internet capability to ships and shore sites. Shout outs to Tesla again. And this is not Tesla, this is SpaceX, but most of you guys are not up to date on this information. So I want to provide you with the website. What is Starlink? And so Starlink is for businesses and power users. Now we can look at it in three different segments. They put it as residential connected home in a royal area and then roaming connect on the go and connect on the water and also in the air. Airliners have also utilized it. So pertaining to Starlink for boats, high speed internet on the water. And as you can see, you could stream movies and make video calls and more. Starlink provides and delivers high speed, low latency internet, both in motion while anchored so not only when the boat's moving but also when the boat is anchored enjoy streaming movies making video calls playing video games and more all while out on the water now a lot of people don't have this the safety you stay safe and you stay informed the global coverage is there and you pay as you go and designed for extreme environments starlink can withstand extreme conditions while at sea including cold heat sleet heavy rain and hurricane winds. And that's very interesting. Again, Elon Musk always providing a new innovation that most people are not even registering. Did most of you guys know about this? Huh? Probably not, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. Easy to get online, integrated Starlink with existing onboard networks via direct ether connection and use or use the included Wi-Fi router. And the flat high performance comes with an easy to install mount and review the installation guide here, blah, blah, blah. So it teaches you how to install it. Now, most people don't know that while Starlink is one of the services, there's also for business purposes. So let's go back for the for business purposes so we can go over that and you guys can see what that looks like. Starlink for businesses, reliable high speed internet for businesses. And then you could type in your service address and you can see the fast speeds and the download, upload, and the latency. You can see anywhere, connect almost any site and then improve business connectivity. And you got a fixed site, wherever that be in a residential or commercial space. And you got land mobility, maritime aviation connectivity. What I talked about as far as airliners can actually have this as a service. Prior to that, they spent a lot of money. And if you look at it, the business for 20 gigabytes is $2,000 per month. That's a lot, <laughs> but I guess not for a company. And in business unlimited, 10,000 a month. And in government unlimited and commercial unlimited. And the government is pretty different, right? Enhanced capabilities support a range of government aircrafts and special missions. And so the actual security on that is vastly different than what you get from an actual 
private industry. As you look, you got business aviation, aircraft manufacturers, airliners, and then charter operators, and then service centers and MROs. What the hell is an MRO? Let's look. Okay. So partner with Starlink by participating in Starlink's dealer network and capitalize on the growing list of certifications and support aircraft that Starlink supports. And then you got completion centers and integrators, and then you have government and special missions. And so actively support emergency response, cargo and personnel transportation, and other government aviation missions. So the application for Starlink is multivariable. And as you can see, the global coverage, Starlink has provided high speed, low latency internet on tens of thousands of flights and counting, keeping passengers connected from the moment they step on board the aircraft and throughout their travels all around the world. And then you can see frequently asked questions and you can actually see where it is. And in-flight hours already is 51,000 plus and the miles traveled 20 million miles traveled and then flights traveled 33,000 plus flights already traveled dedicated aviation uh, support and so you have 24 7 aviation teams including telephone assistance specialized account management and the flight reliability terms man massive amounts of actual benefits from using starlink and i showed you guys this many times of the availability link and you can see the map and you can see all the countries that have access to Starlink. Recently, I was going to read an article to you guys about Starlink in Kenya. So it's very interesting that we have Starlink provided for people all over the world. And this is something that was done differently. Uh, prior to that, people had to run wires underneath the ocean and the sea. If you guys don't know, and that's how the Internet is connected across the world. It's through wires underneath the sea, the ocean bed and the ground. Did you know that? I don't think you guys did. I'm probably like, what? Really? I didn't know that. I thought it came from the sky. So let's see. We got a couple of articles. Let's go ahead and go to Nigeria. Shout out to my Nigerians. Oh, my Nigeria. We got SpaceX. Starlink is set to strengthen its footprint in Nigeria with the construction of a new ground station in three locations. And as you can see, construction has already begun in Lagos with the completion anticipation in 2024, maybe later this year in 2024. So we have that. And there was another article. I'm just trying to give you guys the actual proof in the pudding. Because some people are going to be like, man, that ain't true. Tesla ain't all over those places. Elon's lying again. You know how people go. So I definitely want to be able to show you guys these links so you can see that Starlink's really out here making a difference in the world not just in one place ah here we go so we got one for kenya let me go ahead and show that and pull it up on the screen we got nigeria oh my nigeria let's see oh my gosh right when i pull it up the link doesn't want to work okay here we go bring it up and there you go News, Starlink has introduced a $15 kit rental plan for people in Kenya, so affordable, possibly, and customers will pay a one-time activation fee of $21. They can choose between a 50 gigabyte plan for 10 USD or an unlimited package for $50.50. Both plans offer speeds up to 200 megabytes per hour. Whew, man, that's super affordable. Anybody saying that it's not affordable and he's ripping people off or he's Lex Luthor and all this other nonsense, they're tripping. And this this was always the premise of Starlink. Breed, bring affordable high speed Internet to underserved and unserved. I think underserved also areas around the world. I believe both Google and Meta had plans to deliver satellite or balloon based Internet to Africa, but neither worked. And especially Facebook, I knew they had at least plans to bring internet and they had this cable going around basically the shore of all african countries and i think it was massive amounts of money that we were spending i don't know if they completed it because they were laying the wire for the internet underneath the ocean bed but you know probably stopped when starlink came out apparently since the launch in kenya in 20 Oh, July 2023 the number of starlink users has grown by more than tenfold great progress so Starlink is amazing. We know that. 
<laughs> and so as you can see, there's always these uh, changes that are happening in Tesla and Starlink and Elon Musk are always making a difference globally, but most people don't recognize it. So I just should, I was just trying to show you guys this short evaluation of Starlink so you can understand the potentials of Starlink and we can move forward knowing that everybody hates Tesla for no reason.